It's 2022, ladies and gentlemen, and Two Minute Tech Tuesdays is back. My name is Thais, I'm the technical evangelist at Varnish Software, and first and foremost, I'd like to wish you a happy new year. After a short hiatus, we'll be bringing you weekly content again about Varnish technology, presented to you in two minutes or less. This week's topic is YKey, and I'm gonna put two minutes on the timer and tell you all about it. YKey is a Varnish Enterprise VMOD that performs tag-based invalidation. It's a lot more flexible than typical purchase in Varnish because it doesn't depend on the URL to identify objects in the cache. And in terms of flexibility, yes, it's, it's somewhat on par with bands, but YKey is a lot faster than bands. Feature-wise, YKey allows you to assign tags to response headers, but these tags can also be assigned in your VCL code. It is compatible with traditional purge logic and can be plugged in there, as you'll see in a minute. It supports both hard and soft invalidation and has the ability to invalidate and register multiple tags at once. Here's a quick VCL example on how to register tags via headers. So the first thing, of course, you need to do is import the YKey VMOD, and then in VCL backend response, you can register the header that needs to be inspected. In this case, that's YKey. And as you see in this HTTP response, the YKey header that is used contains two tags, type blog post and ID 53340, and both of these tags will be automatically registered because of the VCL code you've just seen. Tag registration is not restricted to response headers. It can also be done in VCL by, for example, inspecting the response. So in this case, we're checking the content type of the response and if it contains image, we're dealing with an image and adding the image tag. In terms of execution of the invalidation, I mentioned that it's compatible with existing purge logic. And as you can see in this VCL example, that is the case. Of course, you first need to import the Y key VMOD, but apart from that, most of the logic is the same. You have to define an ACL to prevent unauthorized access. You have to intercept purge requests through the purge request method. You have to check the client IP and return a 405 method not allowed in case of invalid access. And you can even return a typical return purge. But when the Y key purge header is set, Y key will be used. And the Y key purge header will contain the tags which will be invalidated to the ykey.purge underscore header function. The result, the output from the function is the number of objects that have been invalidated, which will be parsed in the synthetic response. So when you perform an HTTP call, in this case through curl, 534 objects have been invalidated. That was the first one of this year, YKey, a very important Varnish Enterprise VMOD that gives you the flexibility to invalidate content based on tags, which is convenient in situations where changes in your object structure in your database probably reflect multiple URLs. So sometimes it's really tough to keep track of all the URLs that are affected. So if you can do this based on tags, it provides you a lot more flexibility and a lot more speed of execution. That was it for this week. We'll be back next week with more content presented to you in two minutes or less.